चल रहे Saudi Arabia going to do with all the extra money she's making? Well, first of all, uh, let us define our terms correctly. Shall we call that extra money? And the answer is no. Because uh, whatever money Saudi Arabia has at the moment, in, in fact, is the intrinsic value of the oil it is depleting. So, in fact, Saudi Arabia is just liquidating its own natural resources into liquid capital. And transforming capital into capital is not really extra money. It is just the real money. Do you think uh, that your uh, political system will be able to remain uh, with the development that goes on? Do you think that the more intelligent people become, the more educated they become, perhaps they will demand more participation in government? Well, there is already enough participation in the government, and we're evolving politically, economically, socially, as we develop, certainly. Is there participation in government? How do you feel about the effect between your prosperity uh, here and the fact that in Europe, uh, and the fact that in Europe uh, we are at the moment experiencing something of a, a fall backwards? Well, not, you're not only experiencing that, you're exporting that to us, you know, because we import lots of capital goods and commodity, commodities from the West. I think uh, in Western Europe and in the United States, there is a great, uh, there is unprecedented inflation going on. And I think what the Western government ought to do for the sake of the developing nations are, is to try to control that inflation by purely domestic policies. But nevertheless, the fact that the oil is costing us uh, something like four times as much uh, now than it was a year ago uh, is partly uh, your doing, isn't it? Well, I think this is a scapegoat. You had inflation before uh, October 1973 when the oil prices rose dramatically. As a matter of fact, uh, the high prices of oil at the moment, after they had risen dramatically, do not constitute more than one to one and a half percent of the inflation rate, which is currently prevalent. So uh, I think you ought to find another excuse. Probably have to write the reports Sunday afternoon. There you see. Right. Got the whole of this thing to sort out now, aren't we? Yes, we lost it. Yeah, 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 we lost it. Yeah,
this is a ward touch terminal. Uh, the nurse at this ward can enter by touching a switch through here, a message ordering a drug aspirin, for instance. The, that message is sent through the terminal to the computer, which checks the order for uh, allergies against the patient. It will charge the patient bill with that drug, and it will also print out at the pharmacy. You can order drugs, treatments, there's a selection of these overlays, each of which can contain a whole mass of messages to be sent out, each of which the basic idea is to save people running about the hospital with messages. It isn't really that they are kept apart so much as the fact that there haven't been opportunities for them to get together. And I think mainly the question is the question of education. Uh, how would you get women doctor, for example? How would you get women in hospital unless they are educated to be doctors and nurses? And since we started doing that late, uh, this is the reason why you don't see them together. Uh, at the moment, if you go to our hospitals, you do find a few Saudi women doctors and a few Saudi nurses, and those are the ones who were graduated from schools and were able to work side by side with men. Yes, but uh, we do see the... Something. There is nothing in our religion or tradition that prevents girls from working. And this is one reason why they have been... Uh, Giving us, giving the boys tremendous, tremendous. Uh,
competition with respect to uh, uh, enrollment in schools and uh, participation in the public life. Uh, it is just that they have selected as a beginning areas which are more profitable to them than secretarial work. You mean like running like, a home? Like doctors and like teachers. And this is the, these are the areas also which the country needs more than secretarial work. But the vast majority of women surely stay, uh, have to stay at home and run the house. That, well, we have to have some who stay home and, and run the houses. And uh, this is by their own choice, not because they're forced to, either by their own choice or by their training, their previous training. That's all. But isn't there surely a very strong prejudice among the men, maybe not in your mind, but among most men in Saudi Arabia, against allowing girls to go out and do a job of work outside the home? I don't think so. As a matter of fact, all the new generation now would like supplementary income. So you think that uh, things are changing fast? Oh, yes, certainly. And, I mean, you'd expect to see girls working beside men eventually in factories and in uh, hospitals and so on? I hope not to see them work in any job that will change the nice look we have for our girls. We can't see much of them. Do you have enough people in Saudi Arabia to train into students to run the economy here? I think in a very short time, <coughs> uh, about five years or more, I presume, we're going to have enough to be trained in every uh, field. The ones we don't have in this country, we send students abroad to study for these various uh, things. And also we depend on our friends in other parts of the world to help us develop our economy, I think. We don't see any girls around uh, in the boys' part of the university. Yes. What happens to the girls? The girls, we have specialized faculties for them. There are a teacher training school, and there are a college for girls, which uh, teach them to be uh, in the various departments they actually uh, trained for in this country as teaching and as workers for hospitals and things like this. And this is a separate faculty. One belong to the university and one belong by, as dependent by itself. Why do the girls have a separate education from the boys? Well, the customs of this country and the religion uh, really try to uh, get them educated because if we get girls and boys in here, they will uh, not study. <laughs> It's like everywhere, they try to make it fun. But uh, in this country, I think uh, its customs and things have to be separate. So everybody is uh, getting an, enough education. Uh, they can't even meet after school, can they? No, no. Why, why is that? This is because the customs, our customs here, are not allowed us. And uh, I think uh, this is the better of the area. Because in all these countries that are allowing mixing, uh, half of the time is not going for uh, learning, but is going for other things. Do you think that things will change here, and that soon girls and boys will mix together? I hope it doesn't change, because I think we are happy with the situation, and our girls are happy with the situation, and some of our bright boys still have uh, time for that, and when they, they get married in uh, uh, younger ages, so there is no problems at all with the 
uh, girls in here or the boys at all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.